please welcome Crystal to our stage. Thank you, President Procheski. And good morning, family, friends, faculty, and my fellow graduates. Let me begin by saying congratulations. We did it. It's an incredible honor to speak on your behalf. So thank you for this privilege. Today marks the result of hard work and dedication we put these past few years. All of those nights we spent cramming for tests, all of the books we read, all of the essays we wrote, all of the lessons we learned, and all of the experiences we encountered along the way. This commencement is a celebration of each moment leading up to achieving our dreams. I am grateful for all those moments including the difficult moments that taught me strength and the wonderful moments that show me just how unbelievably lucky I am to have this life and to have spent a portion at Georgia Winnet College. I definitely never thought I would be standing here in front of you all today. As a little Hispanic girl growing up, I didn't realize how important education would become in my life. Being a first-generation student and the oldest of my family, I faced challenges, and I was the one who had to blaze the trail. It seemed I had to learn everything the hard way, and I developed a lack of belief in myself. I wanted to go to college, but I was not sure if it was for me. I questioned myself, what is my purpose? Am I fully prepared for my college journey? Can I succeed? I answer those questions by deciding to believe in myself and to challenge myself into the person I wanted to become. I remember coming to GGC my first day of class at 8 a.m. I had to take a student success course in writing to better prepare me for my future college courses. I was nervous, but I told myself, this is the real deal. Pay attention, take good notes, and study hard, and you will pass all your classes and move on to the following semester. And I did. I did struggle in the beginning, but the difficult times made me the strong person I am today, and my confidence grew each semester. However, I will say this. I would not be here today without my family's love and support. And I know the rest of you would say the same. I have a special, lovely message to my family. Para mis papás y mis hermanos, Paul, Kelly, and Andy, gracias por el apoyo que siempre me han dado. No sé cómo voy a haber hecho todo eso si ustedes a mi lado. Su amor significa mucho para mí. Los quiero mucho. love you too. I also know that you share my appreciation for my professors and my mentors who have motivated me and inspired me to keep reaching for my dreams. I am also thankful for the friendships I've made here at GGC through organizations such as the Student Ambassador Team, OLAS, SGA, and of course, my classmates from the education program. <laughs> Love you guys. I've had the honor to work and learn with you all together as a team to become the leaders of the future. If my days here at Georgia Winnet College have shown me anything, it is this. It is not how you are labeled or what you look like, but who you are that matters. I am a first-generation Mexican-American young woman, but I'm also a college graduate and an educator and the first of my family to take this journey. 
I feel confident about starting my new chapter in my life and pursuing my dreams of having my own students to teach, challenge, and inspire. I want to give back to the community and make a difference in students' lives, just like Georgia Winnet College did for me. There is no better way to benefit society than to teach. And I can't wait to, for the opportunity to ensure success for the next generation of young students. My message to you all today is to always believe in your dreams and yourselves. Never underestimate or question your abilities to make a difference in this world. This graduation ceremony already shows us that we are capable of accomplishing our goals when we commit ourselves to them. Take this personal accomplishment as an example how anything is truly possible when you believe in yourselves. The road that lies ahead won't be easy. But let us greet each new problem with confidence, knowing that we've already achieved great heights and are equipped with necessary tools to tackle our futures. Let us believe in ourselves so that we may reach our goals and fulfill our dreams. Let us be the best we can be. We've already taken these few, first few steps to make to the ceremony today. So now it's time to continue our journey. Today, we begin our futures. Today is our day. Congratulations, Fall Class of 2016. says it's my turn to teach. <laughs> <laughs>